Hi there, it's Hannah the Artisan Duck and I'm going to show you today how I made these really cute polymer clay strawberry earrings. To get started on my strawberry I have rolled myself some clay, um, this is looking very bright on camera but it's a nice red and I put this through in a number two and I'm going to use my circle cutters because I want to make a few strawberries I want them of a relatively uniform size so this is how I'm going to do it. So I'm just going to cut my strawberries out, my, well, my clay out, and I have judged how much clay I need in comparison to my green top that I'm going to put on the strawberries and that will become obvious in a minute, but I'll leave some measurements for these cutters in the description below, so if you want to make the exact same as me, I will, you know, you can go and find the measurements. So I'm just going to get my clay into sort of a ball shape. So squash that in my fingers to start with and then I'm going to roll it against my surface to smooth it all out. So that's nice and round now. I'm going to put it on my surface and just put the pressure on one half of that circle. So when I roll it, it's going to start elongating the end like that. And once you get it started, you go in with your fingers and just pinch it around like that. And then we've got a slightly rounded top and strawberry center of a flatter top, so I'm just going to push the opposite end on my surface just to flatten it out like that. And then I'm going to go back in again just to refine that shape um, and sort of make it match the other ones that I've made. And if you've flattened it too much, you can just go around and pinch the top just to refine it up there as well. So to add some detailing on my strawberries, I'm going to go in with a ball tool and just sort of add some dots all the way around. I tried to be random with this, um, but, you know, I'm not sure I ever am totally random. I'm going to go away and do that and come back and show you when they're done. So I've got a sort of a fine tipped Posca pen here, um, just in a yellow. I would quite like it if this was a slightly paler yellow, but I don't have that. So now I'm going to go in to these sort of um, dots that we've added here and add just a little touch of yellow. I'm going to go around and do that all around my strawberry. And obviously try to be careful not to put your hand in the paint but it does dry relatively quickly um, which is nice and then you can pop it in the oven which I think sets the Posca paint really nicely. There we go I've added all those dots you could obviously use uh, another paint and use your ball tool just to add some dots in there or you could go in with a yellow clay and just add little dots of yellow clay which would obviously be a lot more time consuming. So I'm going to put this to one side to dry while I work on the green top to my strawberry. So I've rolled out some green clay and this is about uh, a number five on my machine and I'm just going to pop that down and I'm going to take a small star cutter. Now again I'll put the sizing in the description below and just cut a single star out. I'm just going to lift that up. I'm just going to just squeeze it a little bit just um, sort of to take those hard edges away a little bit. Now you're going to find yourself some type of needle tool or pointer tool and you're going to start from the center of your star and drag down to the outer corner of the leaf and then you could add a little bit of detail so I'm just pressing it in to add almost like veining in a leaf and then turn it around and I'm going to do that on all five points of my star. There we go, there's my finished uh, strawberry top. So I'm just going to take my strawberry again and position this so it's right oops, in the middle of my strawberry. 
There we go. Now you can get creative. You can have your leaves sticking up if you'd like. You could even add a little bit of chalk or something to the top to bring that detail out. But uh, for the sakes of sort of keeping things easy, I'm just going to fold my leaves over so they're touching the sort of top of my strawberry. And I have made myself uh, an eye pin with a really large loop on the top and I've sort of made this because I'm going to hang these from um, skewers, metal skewers in the oven because I want them to keep their nice round shape. So I have just taken an eye pin, made this larger loop and I'm going to add this to the top middle of my strawberry like that just for baking. My strawberry is out of the oven now so I'm just going to go ahead and remove this eye pin that I put in here. I have cut myself an eye pin with a regular size loop to the same length as the one that I had for baking and it should fit in quite nicely. So I'm just going to grab some glue and I'll leave the de details for this glue in the description and I'm just going to add that to my eye pin if I can pick it up. I don't usually um, do it this way but uh, I just thought it would look nicer on the strawberry. So I'm just going to dip my eye pin into that glue just as far as the loop. So I'm just going to take my eye pin and just push it straight down into the strawberry and you want to just do this in one move because Obviously that super glue is going to dry really quick. So I'm just going to put this to one side to dry. And once this is dry, I will varnish my strawberry and come back and show you the finished earrings. There we go. I have given my strawberries two coats of varnish and put them on some earring wires and they're ready for wearing. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I will put a list sort of in the description of some of the tools and supplies I've used and that kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching and I shall see you again soon. Bye!